Geekdom was was on the extra episode number two, talking to us about the superhero movie, and he was meant he was bringing up stuff about how around the Resurrection F time period, like they didn't realize how popular Dragon Ball was over here, and honestly, I think that's bullshit. I'm not saying that what he was saying was wrong. I'm saying I'm saying it's bullshit on Japan, right? Because bro, let me ask you a question. How the fuck is it possible to yeah. just ignore? Not, it's not it's not that you don't know. How do you ignore? You know what I'm saying? Like think about that. On a business standpoint, if you're a fucking company that's literally responsible for producing and 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 creating all these all this shit based off of a popular entity known as Dragon Ball and it's being globally distri distributed. What do you mean you don't fucking know? That doesn't make yeah, that's, sense. That's crazy. Think about that. On a business fucking standpoint, that makes zero sense. Oh, we had no idea. No, the fuck. They fucking knew. It's there's the difference is they don't care. They don't. They they, they only care. They care to a degree. They just making sure that what they whatever they're putting out makes the profits that they're looking for i wonder if it's because of the old heads that are yes there. no it, that's a hundred percent what it is and i've said this already the fact is the culture over there combined with the old folks that are still in these suits at the tables are the ones that are still making these fucking decisions on how to operate okay but the second the newer, younger so, generation starts was, taking over, what happened? I was just going to say, so do you think that when we're old, it's going to be a great fucking situation? <laughs> well, dude, at this rate, um, I think so. Because I already consider myself fucking old, okay? Even though people are going to tell me otherwise, right? But, like, it is what it, what it fucking is. But think about it. Even us at their age, it would be infinitely fucking better. Are you kidding me? Like it, like, and I'm saying us, like in their in their shoes, you know, making fucking decisions on how to handle things. I mean, listen, I'm not gonna sit here and say like I, I'm gonna write a infinitely better story than what Toriyama has put out there. I'm not gonna be disrespectful like that. But what I will at least say is I'm not gonna be a fucking dumbass and release the movie for yourself, <laughs> and then wait and have everybody wait two months. Like the, that yeah, makes. No, I mean, as far as as far as Dragon Ball is concerned, like they should know better, bro. Like if you like, bro, you already know your shit's globally distributed. You should release that shit globally, whatever, at the same time, bro. Just so it's fair, especially if your fandom is more over here than it is over there, like, cause that's the truth, right? I, you know what? I'm not. I don't know number wise, but I mean, the U.S. is a bigger fucking country than Japan. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> you know, if you want to just have common sense, and it's not just it's not just the U.S., North America, and South America, the whole fucking center, the whole section of this globe that we're in, lives, sweat, breathes, and bleeds Dragon Ball. <laughs> like, what the fuck? Are you guys serious? At this point, we're more passionate fans than even Japan is. Listen, we saw the fucking shit. Not a single peep in that theater. If that shit came here, every you would have seen so many videos of people popping off in those theaters, screaming, excited, happy, laughing, hollering, having a fucking grand old time. Dude, the culture over there is so it's it's different. Yeah, no, it's the culture, bro. It's, That's it, how anime was born in the first it's place. The All culture, its craziness. Is the it, one it, place you can let loose is with the pen. Right. Like <laughs> It's, this shit is different, man. Like I just, I don't get it. I don't get they, it. They have like some. They have. A, it's like I'm not calling them weird or nothing, but it's like I, their culture is more based off of like respect and probably like integrity and all that shit. So it's, it's like extremely they, they, reserved. They, yeah, yeah. They gotta be very reserved about certain shit. Even though these motherfuckers can like sloop fucking noodles and and and, and that fucking describe. <laughs> they like bro. He's right. Like that's rude over that here. Apparently, right? Yeah. yeah Making yeah. noise but over there. Over here is not okay. Sense. 
But I don't give a fuck. I fucking I eat my I shit the way I fucking shit. eat it. Okay, <laughs> like, <laughs> like if if I have to fuck it. You okay, eat it well, like you're hungry as fuck. Hey, the plug. <laughs> <laughs> Shoutouts. But yeah, man, like that's the one thing I would definitely do is like, that, like I would just bring more common sense to the table. Like it's not that hard. It really isn't. And I would at least be, uh, I would go the extra mile to make sure my fucking story makes fucking sense oh that's that good shit <laughs> <laughs>